All right, our, our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, I've wanted to have her on the program for at least eight years or so. It's been a long haul to get her here, and I'm so glad she is. She's a gifted performer and writer and producer currently at work on the new episodes of Murphy Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Laura Kraft. keep things in the front pocket. Everybody robs and steals from you in New York. It's a very big city. A lot of crime. A lot of hungry people out there uh, looking to steal things. Oh, they will steal. <laughs> yes, yeah. Now you are uh, usually in Los Angeles. I am. Yeah, that's where you live. I, I live in Los... I just want to apologize for my outfit. What's the matter I with hate it? what I'm wearing. I look so stupid. I just want you to know I can look so cute. I have it in me. And I just don't look cute, and I just apologize because everybody out there looks cute. And I love black on black. It's wonderful. I'm not even. I'm not even fishing for compliments. Wow. I have it in me to look. I just. This is not. This is not what it could be. Laura, we're starting in a deficit. Let's start from a position of strength. Okay. You're doing so many wonderful things. You live in Los Angeles. Well, my strength working... is that I have other things at home that would look better. <laughs> But nobody knows. I have a secret strength. It's like a superpower. Yeah. My superpower is I have better things to wear at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, someday we'll see you in someday. different outfits. Yeah, I That's hope fun. so. I hope yeah. so. You could start a kind of lifestyle blog. Sure. Don't yeah. wear this. Or this. <laughs> anyway, I'm then, very happy to be here. Well, I, I'm happy you're here. And it really has taken a long time to get you. Our yes. schedule's finally aligned, and it's, you're going to disappear again in a I'm couple leaving. of weeks. I'm leaving. A couple of weeks. Go Just back in to, two weeks and five days. Yeah. And we, roughly. You think you're going to come back? Never. <laughs> I'm well, never going to come back. I'm really <laughs> glad. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Um, uh, you, you live out there in Los Angeles. We tried to get together. It didn't quite happen, but now it has. Uh, and uh, there's so much I want to talk about. Uh, I mean, Laura, for you, like, I'm in the epicenter of it all for you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, now, speaking of that, uh, the other night, because I'm somebody that goes through Instagram as a kind of calming mechanism for myself, I scroll through it and I look at everybody else doing these wonderful things and living such wonderful lives. And there's always somebody, you know, holding hands on a beach. There's a lot of people, I don't know who the photographer is, but they're often <laughs> pictured from behind and you get a nice, like, where are you? You know, you're on the uh, Tulum. That's wonderful. But I saw Machu on Picchu. on <laughs> We're going to get Where some Machu good ones. Machu Picchu. Instagram. This yeah. guy. They're yeah. all. Yeah. Choo, 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 choo. Machu Picchu. Hey, yeah. <laughs> right. Choo, choo, choo. Hashtag up, best life. Beef, beef, beef. But I saw that on your Instagram that you were at Sardi's the other night. I was at Sardi's. Yes. Yeah. Now, the thing that reason that that stood out for me was because that night that you posted it, I was also at Sardi's. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can you imagine? We were both there at the same time. Well, I, got, I have to tell you, that was my first time at Sardi's. And that I, was my first time at Sardi's. Why would you come up and say hi to me? <laughs> no, I didn't see you until I saw it on Instagram. And maybe we weren't there at exactly well, the same time. Well, can I tell you time. why I'm, I'm going to go back? Me too. Why aren't we there all the time? Well, I'm going to go. My nephew, here's where I start in family bragging. Yes. So I, I'm one of seven. Yep. I have 22 nieces and nephews. And one of my nephews is on Broadway right now. Pretty good. To Kill a Mockingbird. And I went hey. to see him. Yes. And then I took a bunch of nieces and nephews and a brother and some assorted family members to Sardi's. Yes. As one for does. drinks and french fries. <laughs> and one rice pudding. <laughs> if I may brag. Wow. And my goal big is... Spender. I wanna, big spender. Big spender. Oh, I, I was like, you can have whatever <laughs> side order thing that comes in a bowl. Anything that comes in a bowl. I'm talking soup, fries, rice pudding. Yes. Or scotch for me with one <laughs> onion. Um, really? Uh, but I want to get my nephew's drawing. I want to get a drawing of my nephew on the wall. Yes. Sardi is, of course, famous for all the great caricatures of uh, Broadway stars, actors, that kind of thing, and a Broadway institution. Yes. So this is the second time that he's been on Broadway in two years. And I was started pushing for it with the owner. Yeah. And my nephew was mortified. But that's what my role is to be the 
outside person who does the things that you can't say that you want. Yeah. You know, like I will be like, he likes you. You know, I'm that person. And did, or, how, how did that go with the owner? Um, I got 50% off for the cast of To Kill Mockingbird um, on Wednesdays between the two matinee and evening <laughs> show. And, uh, and I'm nothing. laying the groundwork for his drawing. Jeff Daniels is on the wall. Yeah. I said, well, there's a lot of people that you think maybe could rotate out. Yeah, I mean, don't you think they should put my nephew up? He's very talented. Yes, yes. yeah, sure. Yeah. And maybe don't get the guy that did Brian Cranston's caricature because that, that is... Was, I saw that. Yeah, that's a stretch. That was a stretch. It looked like I did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm not good at caricatures. <laughs> no. But Jeff Daniels was actually very good. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. I saw that one too. Yep. There's a good... I can't believe you were there. Why were you there? Uh, well, you know, it's a night out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you see a Broadway show, you go over there. Did you see a Broadway show? I did. I saw part of the comedy festival. So uh, oh. I went out there and I thought, boy, this is going to be great. And it's, I guess, right? it's, it's got it's, a little bit of an airport restaurant vibe. It is like, it is. Here's the thing. Don't trust red carpets. <laughs> if you go to a restaurant with a red carpet, yeah. you know what you're getting. Mm, mm. It's always going to be the restaurant with the red carpet. Yeah. But I will say this for Sardis. Yeah. Wonderful French fries. Yeah, very good French fries. Yeah, yes. so scotch yeah. and French fries. Yep. That's it. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little, little senior home thank vibe. You, thank you. Yeah. 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 Red, red carpet. But I don't want it to change and I want to be there no. all the time. Me too. Yes. I'd yeah. like to go back there. Yeah, I'm good. Well, go I'm back. shocked that that wasn't a, a favorite haunt of yours when you because you used to live here. For well, I do bit. wear a lot of capes. <laughs> I feel like Sardis would be like a very good velvet cape place. Like, yes. I'd like some fries. <laughs> you know, it's very yeah. capes and long gloves. Yep, yep. A lot of taking. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my Sardis. Okay, my yes. beret. Yes. My head. Both my boobs. <laughs> fries, please. <laughs> I'm coming, barkeep, or I'll take off my butt. <laughs> Screw off my butt. Yep, yep. And Absolutely. done. Absolutely. Whole body yep. experience. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, one of the places you leave with a big smoke. You know where else I just went? What's that? So I'm in New York. I've been here since mid-July. I'm leaving in two weeks. And I am just going to every place I've wanted to be. And I just went, speaking of faces you can screw off and put on the table, yeah. I went to the Friars Club. Oh, yeah. For a dinner. How was that? A lot of faces you can screw off and... And put on the table? Possibly. Wow. It was really cool. <laughs> I've it's not been so there. I've cool. been to the one in Los Angeles, but I haven't been to the one here. Yeah, it is really neat. Like, lots of pictures of just famous comedians. It is yeah. just like, you got to get there. I don't know quite how I got there. I think somebody I was eating dinner with this belongs to the yeah. Friars. Well, you know people. Oh, I do know people. Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, I, I also I also play instruments. I want I just Oh, want, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Piano and flute. Oh. Um, and I'm in, I'm in an all flute band called Flute Friends. Flute Flute, flute Friends? Yes. <laughs> we play covers. That's wonderful, Cornelius. Sound bath. Yeah, it's, it's a sound bath, like being out in the Joshua Tree, isn't it? Yeah. We're out in the uh, Integratron, what is that thing called? That's right, that's it. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, what, what kind of covers do you play in the flute band? We did covers of pop songs arranged for four flutes. <laughs> and I got to tell you, a little flute friends goes a long way. <laughs> yeah. That's what we discovered. Yeah. We booked one time, years ago, we booked a whole night at like Brooklyn Pool or Brooklyn, one of those like, sure. those two venues. The, the Kind of a big splashy night, we invited all of our friends. And we started performing, and we were like five measures into the first song, and it hit us at the same time that it hit the audience. A, a little flute friends goes a long way. Plenty. So we yeah. stopped the show and we bought our own beers. <laughs> there you go. Like you don't need to see this. Three songs in, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're like, you know, truncated song in between two stand-up acts. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. That's good. Yeah. But now, when you were living here, you were uh, a writer on the first original series, uh, the Colbert Report. I was. Yeah. Yeah. So when that thing started off. What's it like to write for a character hosting a talk show? <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, pretty not pretty not that hard. Pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I had a really good time doing it. Um, that character, uh, you know, I have to be honest. When I submitted on that show, I had never, se I didn't have TVs or cables like or the Allie. cables, yeah. and I uh, and I hadn't. It wasn't that I was involved in politics, but I wasn't that up to date on news. But I am now. I know the news. 
Um, but so, but I did know stuffed shirt white men. Yeah. I'm um, from the North Shore of Chicago, and I get it. And yeah. so I just sort of, I, I, it was really fun to write um, from, I will say this, from a strong point of view, you can say anything, because he was such an idiot that you could say anything and just be like, hey, it wasn't him. Was that idiot? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, now, what is it like to you? Of course, you were writing for a character during a kind of dark political time. Yeah. And I now can't here imagine you are. a dark political time. <laughs> well, that's the point. Here you are, you know, a decade later or so. Yeah. Uh, times arguably darker, and uh, you're able to write for a new character. Can you believe that? Uh, Murphy Brown. I'm so lucky. That's amazing. Yeah, it's Woo! been really so fun, and yeah. the show is. Um, we take a lot of the current things that are happening in the world of journalism and the news and the world around us, and uh, we write, for example, I had an episode that, uh, that I wrote that aired, and we keep, we write things, and then the, and then it will happen in real life after we've already shot it. Yeah. So for example, I wrote an episode where there was a Bannon-like character that um, wanted to, had just left the administration and had come out with a book and wanted to come on to Murphy Brown and sort of go tete-a-tete -tete with Murphy Brown, sort of like, a, you know, Frost Nixon or, a, a, wow, what's that guy's name? Like, uh, Buckley, yeah. uh, Gore Vidal, sort of like a mm -hmm. take her down. A grand debate. Yeah. yeah, and it was, and the whole show was sort of like, should we have this guy on? Are we fanning the flames? Is it, you know, um, is it actually news? Is it, are we being the news, which is not journalism? Anyway, so we, that's the show, we shot it. And then Bannon and the New Yorker Festival happened right after that. Yeah. So. Predicting cool. things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the show is wonderful. <laughs> Thank I, you. I like having it back. And I didn't realize, I don't know what ASMR is, but I don't know something what that is. about, I think that's when people whisper into a microphone and you're somehow soothed by oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which would probably be very lucrative for me. But uh, I, I would realize once I heard Miles' voice and Corky and Frank Fontana and C Candace Bur Murphy's voice, it was so soothing to me to just hear it on in the other room. Did it, uh, oh, yeah, don't watch it. No, I, I will never well, watch it. Turn it on and go and <laughs> vacuum the den. <laughs> no, no, no. I, would, I was lured in and sure, I, sure. I watched the show. But uh, it was just, I was so comforted by that. It, I mean, I'm happy they're did back. You, did you have it, uh, did, was it on, so it was on before from 1988 to 1998. Yes. Was that a time in your life where maybe your mother watched it and you were in her lap because you were like 22? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's about right. Yeah, no, we were a politically engaged family and that was a thing. Dinner would finish and you'd come on in and as I said, CBS, great network, and I would we, just sit down and we watch uh, Murphy Brown and get a, get up to speed on things. I loved it. I, I mean, I have to say, my, it was my mother's favorite show. Yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really, I don't want to sound, my mother recently passed away. And I'm, so I'm sorry to hear that. Thank yeah. you. Did you kill her? No. You didn't, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. That would be so awkward because no. I would have to kill you. <laughs> but be, I don't think you did. That'd be rough. Yeah. Um, but anyway, but I But now, like, when my mother died, you didn't kill her. Oh. oh boy. Okay. All right. This is tough. Well, Any, it's your anyhow. mother and the pillow, and it was so easy. <laughs> no, I know. She, in some ways, she was asking she for talked it. Talked a lot. So much about Murphy Brown. Oh, she was like, "Don't you love Murphy Brown?" I was like, "Woman, <laughs> no. yeah, suck well. this pillow." <laughs> yes. She did. Yes. It got dark, Laura. Okay, what? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to. Here's the thing. You know. Okay. So I'm working with a group of men, and and uh, you know, I start off sort of like quiet and then I sort of get cute girl and then they there's a day this has happened in every job I've ever had where I'm walking to the parking lot or the subway depending on where I am and somebody goes you're dark <laughs> I don't know lately I'm like yeah fucking dark yeah yeah get into it yes absolutely you wear a cape it's sardis <laughs> you wear a, a mask yeah sure get some opera glasses yeah, I don't sure. know what dark people do but <laughs> cuter outfits than I am yeah. I know such ah! But you enjoy working on the show. I do. I really, really yeah. do. And you we said you were a little um, shy around Candace. I did. I told you that in privacy off stage. Right? <laughs> I'm I am. Sorry. I'm a huge fan of Candace Bergen. She's so funny. America's sweetheart. She's just really funny, and she can just take any joke. Her timing is so specific. I don't know anybody yeah. else who has timing like she does, and she just find the moment in the joke, and and she's just so original. And I've just been. I remember I read her autobiography. Um, her first auto, she's written two. Her first, when I was pretty young and 
I just love her as a character. She's had such a weird life. If you're ever like, you know when you're watching YouTube late at night, yeah. and you've already watched um, kids getting gifts of pets from their parents, yep. and then vets being welcomed home by their pets, yep. then the colorized Nuremberg trials, yep. then you get to What's My Line, <laughs> yes. and uh, What's My Line, there's a Candace Bergen and her dad, her, it's just so interesting to me that she's a child of Hollywood, but she's a child of Hollywood where her dad was a vaudevillian who had like a ventriloquist act right. on the radio. Yep. <laughs> And he somehow landed a model. Her mother was beautiful. <laughs> right. Of course. Yep. Puppetry Even back the then, they landed models. It's very difficult. It was the pre Maroon 5 or whatever. Still landed models. And uh, <laughs> and, and then they, you, Candace Bergen is born into this world of yep. like meeting the most interesting people of the time. And then, and is so beautiful. If I was that pretty, I'd be such an asshole. But she's so beautiful, and then is also funny. Yeah. I don't know. I'm endlessly fascinated by her. She's, she's I terrific. love her. You know, we had at home was a Charlie Bergman uh, uh, spoon. What is that? Yeah. Not like a spoon, but it had the little character. That was his name, right? Charlie, yeah, Charlie, Charlie McCarthy. Charlie McCarthy. Charlie McCarthy. Like, I want to eat the chocolate pudding with Charlie McCarthy spoon. That's right. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's mostly lead. <laughs> it's half lead, half asbestos. It's not, it's not a safe. It's and right. delicious it's throughout. Not safe. It's not safe. But now you were also at Second City in Chicago. I was in Second City, Did yeah. you start there? Um, I guess so. I mean, I came up through improv uh, in, in the Chicago scene in the 90s. Um, improv Olympic. I studied with Del Close, yep. who invented long-form improv. Yep. And, uh, and then I was hired at Second City. Yep. But, yeah. And who was there at, at the time? Um, I came up with... Um, I don't know, Amy Poehler, Rachel Dredge, Tina Fey. But somebody we've um, heard of. Uh, uh, God, I wish I had uh, access to multimedia, but I live in a cave. <laughs> no, a lot, of, a lot of people were happy. Were, yes, were I was there like in, yeah. when everybody, everybody I'm friends with is now a movie star. And I name drop people, but I'm not name dropping. It's just like, you know, now they're a movie star. That's, that's just and, the uh, and I, But I will say, everyone who's a movie star is great. I don't know anybody who's a movie star who's not great. So, you well, know, sometimes you, I don't know about you, but from the outside, before I knew movie yeah. stars, I was like, that guy did something. Yep. You know, he murdered somebody for some yep. murder brother or somebody. But no, they're all like really great. It's, it seems like, and Time I've only heard some things, some of them not so great. No, all great. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You tell me who you don't like, and I will kill you with my bare hands. No, all they're right. all great. No, okay. All right. All right. I don't know. I feel like Clooney's okay. I don't know Clooney. He's yep. a movie star, though. Yep. I do think I would be friends with him. Yeah, we all do. Do you know, can I tell you? Here's how I that's, fantasize about that's me. That's why he's so great. Me with I'll drink stars. that terrible coffee from him. I don't care. He's on my list of people who I sort of, when I go, I run every morning. Yeah. And I always fantasize that, you know, either like David Bowie pulls me on stage. He's like, Laura, will you, would you mind singing Young Americans? I'm like, okay. You know, like I'm always yeah. doing them a favor. Yeah. Um, or I'm so famous and I'm always like nice about it, but I know that they have to buy me some ice cream afterwards because I did them a favor. Uh, I sang Young Americans at a sold out, studio, uh, sold out football stadium again. Yep. David, sit down. Yep. Let, give me the mic. Sorry, guys, it's me singing Young Americans to a football stadium full of people. Um, but I also fantasize that I'm such good friends with people like, you know, Clooney or Bill Murray or somebody, yep. that we go to a restaurant and we just talk. We don't talk. We just sit there. We don't need to talk. We know each other that well. Yeah. Just in sync. Getting the French onion soup? Yeah, me too. Mm. So what a surprise, Bill Murray! <laughs> Getting a French onion soup again. <laughs> like that's that's our yeah. relationship. Yeah. And Clooney's on that list. Yeah. Tilda Swinton, Debbie Harry, yeah. George Clooney, Bill Murray. Yeah. This Same. guy Pietro Nivola, who's an urban planner, who just passed away, but I'm a huge fan of. Yeah. I don't know if you guys like highway design, but if you do, get into it. He's got a great book on. Some highway, highway enthusiasts here tonight. Pietro Nivola. Yeah, sure. He was at the Brookings Institution. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, now, will you, will you all that big family? Will you have a big Thanksgiving dinner? Um, as I said, my mom died. Yeah. <laughs> so no. Well, that Everyone's just means sort of that like, the, tor <laughs> the torch has been passed. Somebody um, else has to step forward. Yeah, we're sort of spread out. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to help cook uh, Thanksgiving in New Jersey. Okay. I have a sister there. Oh, good. With six kids and. 
Yeah. Good. Will you make some recipes that were important to your mother? Um, my mother was a terrible cook, so I will not be making <laughs> cheese popcorn pulled, poured into a bowl. Um, I will actually, nor will I be making Stouffer's lasagna and Diet Coke. Yeah. I will actually cook something with, like, vegetables. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> yeah. sounds really good. I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> And Laura, the show, uh, Murphy Brown, is going to continue? Yeah, Thursdays at 9.30. Yep. Check it out. I, uh, yeah, please watch it. I don't know. I really love it. I love it, too. I, yeah. I sincerely. It's very I really funny. Like it. It's, 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 still, it's still got writers. it. It's yeah. the same thing. It is. I, I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Laura Kraft, everybody. Thank you. So good.